You will constantly find better weapons in Final Fantasy 16, but there is one that is the absolute best, at least in your first playthrough, and that is the Gotterdammerung. You're only able to get it near the end of the game, but we'll touch on more powerful weapons you can grab way earlier in this video too. In general, it's always smart to upgrade your weapons when possible to the plus one and plus two variants for maximum damage. Not every weapon offers this option, but that doesn't mean it's not worth getting. After defeating Garuda near the beginning of the story, you'll be able to craft Stormcry. This unique weapon does not have a plus one or plus two upgrade, but can be upgraded with the shards Clive finds over the course of the main story to eventually be turned into the Everdark, a very strong weapon with an attack and stagger rating of 315. This makes it one of the stronger weapons for the end game, only surpassed by a few exceptions like the defender you can buy or craft near the end of the game. But like I said, if you really want the most powerful weapon in the game, you'll want to craft yourself the Gotterdammerung, which has an attack and stagger rating of 375. To get it, we'll need to complete a pretty lengthy quest chain called Blacksmith's Blues, which starts relatively early on in your playthrough during the Here Be Monsters main mission. Look for August near the hunt board and patrons whispers over here in the hideaway. He'll have a special quest marker above his head with a plus sign, meaning you'll unlock something important after completing the quest. In this case, it's the blueprint for the pretty powerful Drake Slayer belt, but we need to complete the quest first. Follow the quest steps until it sends you to the hunt board to track down a griffin, which is located over here, very close to the Cairn Northern River Gate. After defeating it, return to the hideaway and complete the quest. Now, in order for the second quest step to appear, we need to continue with the main story until we've completed the quest chain letting off some steam. If you've done that and the first part of Blacksmith's Blues, Clive will have received a letter in his room that starts the second part of the blacksmithing quest. It's even easier than the first one as you don't need to locate a hunt target. Just travel to the quest marker at the Dalamil Inn, then follow it out into the desert to kill the bandits. After following this quest through to the end, you will have received the blueprint for the sword Excalibur. It's pretty strong if you get it as soon as you are able to, with an attack and stagger rating of 268. It looks like a nice ornate longsword, and while it might be a bit understated for a Final Fantasy game, I still really like it. Next to the 300 Wyrite required for crafting it, you'll also need some materials from hunt targets. You will need Scarletite, which you might still have left from defeating the Griffin for the first part of the Blacksmith Blues quest chain, but if you don't, you can grab a second piece by defeating the Fastito Kalon hunt boss over here on the map in the corner of the Valkroy Desert. And let's stay in Dolmechia as we also need a Grimmelkin hide, another hunt exclusive material, and our target for this hunt is at the bottom of the map over here in between the jaw and the fields of Korava. This fight consists of you fighting a large group of weaker enemies first, so make sure to bring some strong AoE attacks to make quick work of them. Finally, you will need a Bomb Ember, another hunt exclusive material, but this hunt target will only show up during another side quest, which is the weird science quest you start from mid dungeon in the hideaway that will also become available after completing the main quest letting off some steam. Weird Science is actually another one of those quests marked with a plus sign and completing it will reward you with expanded potion capacity. So we're killing two birds with one stone by accepting the quest, going to the Sombrek map and going over to this little spot called the Croc, relatively close to the Dragon's Airy fast travel point. Go there, defeat the Bomb King and then bring back the ashes to Owain to complete the quest and expand your potion inventory. And then bring the embers along with the rest of the materials I just listed to the blacksmith to craft yourself Excalibur. And by the way, if you liked the video so far, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to not miss our next video on Final Fantasy 16. Now, while the legendary sword Excalibur is quite something to add to your collection, it's of course only a step towards our true end goal, crafting the Gotterdammerung. It's an awesome looking blade, really love the design on the elaborate cross guard section, and it just fits really well with the rest of Clive's armor. And again, with an attack and stagger score of 375, it's easily the strongest weapon of the bunch. For comparison, the Everdark has 315 in both stats and cannot be upgraded, and your other late game option, the Defender, caps out at 340 after upgrading it twice.
twice. So you'll definitely want to grab the Gotterdam room for some of the game's final boss fights. It's quite a journey to get this as we need to defeat some powerful hunt targets, but let's start by getting the blueprint for it first. To do this, we need to complete the two final steps of the Blacksmith Blues quest, which are unlocked pretty late into the story. Basically, you can complete the entire quest chain as soon as you've reached the fourth and final region of the map. We'll need access to this region anyway for some of the materials required for crafting, but first complete the third and fourth chapter of Blacksmith's Blues. Not much to these again, both start from the hideaway by talking to August at his usual spot close to the hunt board and patrons whispers, and you'll complete the quests by simply following the quest marker. By completing Blacksmith Blues 3, you get the blueprint for the Ouroboros, the best belt in the game, and by completing part 4, you are handed the Ragnarok Sword, which is already very powerful with an attack and stagger rating of 325. Since it shares its look with the upgraded Gothic Damerung, it looks badass too. You'll also receive the schematic needed to upgrade the Ragnarok into the Gothic Damerung, which again is even more powerful. Now we'll need some endgame hunt materials as well to forge this powerful blade, starting with a primitive battle horn from the Goblin Hunt boss located in Isla. This one only shows up after unlocking the main quest Brotherhood, so make sure you've done that before you go looking for them over here on the map. It's a bit of a weird boss fight as this guy has no stagger bar, meaning there's no stagger window to exploit to deal massive damage. But his attacks are not as impressive as some of the other targets on our list, so overall this shouldn't give you too much trouble. Next to that, we need two pieces of dark steel, the first of which we can find by defeating the Thanatos boss over here in Dalmachia. Again, you need to unlock Brotherhood first for it to appear, but after that it's as simple as going here and killing him to get your dark steel. Apart from his spirits without attack where he sweeps the battlefield with a giant laser coming from his chest, there's not much you need to be careful of. Our second piece of dark steel requires a bit more work though as it only appears after completing the side quest chain in Northreach called Under New Management. It's a two part quest but the second part will only become available once you've reached the very last story mission. You don't need to complete that main story quest, just have access to it. So once you've reached that point, do both Under New Management quests and then after that you want to head over to this part of the Royal Meadows to find the Prince of Death and defeat him for your second piece of Dark Steel. This one is effectively a souped up Lich, which you'll have fought a couple of times already, so you should be somewhat familiar with his moveset. And then for our final material for the Gotterdammerung, we need three pieces of Orichalcum. Or actually, we need two because one of the quest rewards for the second part of Under New Management already gives you one as a reward, so from there it's only two more. Orichalcum tends to drop from S rank hunt targets, so for mine I went to fight the Gorgimera in the Valkroy Desert over here in the southwest, and the Atlas in Rosaria over here on the map to the right of Cressida. The Gorgimera will by the way only spawn after you've completed the fourth part of Blacksmith Blues, but since it rewards you with an awesome sword, you'll want to do that anyway. Both Atlas and Gorgamera are level 45, so pretty strong, but by this point in your playthrough, you should be at a pretty high level as well. Both bosses have some pretty massive AoE attacks, so make sure to keep your finger on the dodge button. There's another boss that will drop you a piece of Orichalcum over here on the map in Sambrak for if you've already spent one on the Ouroboros, but it is a bit harder than the other two. Either way, once you have your three Orichalcum, two Darksteel and one Battlehorn, you can bring these materials alongside the Ragnarok to turn it into the most powerful powerful weapon in the game, the Gotterdammerung. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe as well to not miss out on our upcoming Final Fantasy 16 content. And if you want, you can watch our previous video with some pro combat tips by clicking on the screen. We will see you in the next one, goodbye.